Welcome to CATS Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 5.9. Now, in this second, we asked to find VO and IO. So, as you can see, the first op amp which you have here is a buffer, which means this uh, voltage value will be taken directly to the output. So, at this point, we have in volts. Now, this is the terminal voltage on the positive side, which means also on the negative side, we will have in volts. So now let's do some node analysis to find the value of VO. VO is indicated across here, which means it is the voltage at that node. Or what we can alternatively do is to use the formula for a non-inverting amplifier and say VO is used to 1 plus 8K divided by 4K and multiply by 8 which will give you VO is equal to 24 volts. Now that we have a value for VO, or depending on what you're basically going to use, we also find IO, and IO is indicated across the 4K specifically. But since there isn't any current which is flowing here, IO is essentially from that point all the way down to ground. But you can just use this point here because you know that 8 volts is at that terminal. So you can say IO is equals to 8 divided by 4K. Or we can say IO is equals to VO divided by the sum of these two resistor values because IO flows all the way from that node which v with VO down to ground, or we can cut it short and just do uh, Ohm's law at this point. So this is 8 divided by that, which should be 2 times 10 to the minus 3 milliamperes. The same thing applies because you're going to have 24 divided by 12K, which is going to give you the same answer of that. Sorry, this is just that which is equals to, or IO is equals to 2 milliamperes.